I looked and I looked for the pictures in film, but I couldn't find them. So I couldn't put them in the book, You Don't Know Jack. But yesterday, while doing something else, as it usually happens, I stumbled on pictures that I had taken of Jack while we were writing the comic book, Jesuits. And I filmed him as well. Would you like to see a bit of a day in the life with Jack as I saw him? Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. It was Jack's 85th birthday, April 13th, 2009, and we were back in the office after celebrating his birthday with the rest of the staff. It was time to write the comic book Jesuits. Let me back up a bit. I had been studying books about Jesuits for years. Here's a partial listing of just my digital copies of books and articles on the Jesuits. But after we started focusing on writing a comic book on the Jesuits, my library increased a bit. I even found early on the Secreta Manita Secret instructions given to the Jesuits. But that will have to be in another video. But of all the books I was able to find, left and right, Jack and I needed one in particular. The Constitutions of the Society of Jesus. The very instructions given by Ignatius of Loyola and written down in 1558. Many people have written about it, but I couldn't find it anywhere. For over a year. Then one morning I was praying in my devotions and the Lord spoke into my heart. Look for it in Latin. Great, I don't read Latin. So I took the words apart and looked for Constitutionis Societatis Jesu. And there it was in Latin. Great, well, I had a program that translated one word at a time. This is before Google Translate. But at least I had it and I set to work. I downloaded the book and then started searching it. When I got to the middle, I saw the second half was all in English. Praise God, but was it accurate? With my linguistic background, it sure looked like the English was a wooden translation of the literal Latin. But that was an important question, and so I prayed to God. Y you know how God answers one prayer while you're busy doing something else? That's what happened here. I was looking through some books, and I came across this book. It's the Constitutions, dated 1970, and it's by George E. Gantz, S.J., by a Jesuit. Someone, I won't tell you who, had sent it to Jack in 1983. And wait till you hear how the sender got it. Here's some of what he wrote in the book for Jack. Dear Brother Jack, beware this book is not edifying. It is only for reference. I got these books from the Institute for Jesuit Sources when I sneaked into a convent and copied down the address. They still don't know I'm a Christian since all I told them was I was in a convent and couldn't take out the book since it wasn't mine. So they sent me these. Okay, this guy used Jesuit tactics to get a Jesuit book from the Jesuits. Priceless. So now I could compare them. And they seem the same, except the Jesuits had all sorts of extra footnotes. But could I be sure? I didn't have to look as hard as I thought. On pages 56 to 57, Jesuit Gantz talks about the 1838 Latin text in English translation. He summed it up in four words. The translation is accurate. There you go. So, we set to work. I read the Constitutions to Jack from beginning to end. We made piles of notes. 
And I found an English translation of Ignatius' own testimony, told by Ignatius, and we added that information. In fact, we didn't read much by anyone but actual Jesuit writers or Ignatius himself. And that's how I got to correct a lot of the errors people make when talking about the Jesuit order. I could have written a book, but a comic format with the information made simple and sources and footnotes for the reader seemed the better option. We wanted to communicate. And we make comic books and tracks, not ivory tower treatises. Back to Jack's 85th birthday. After all the work of researching, we need to have a story. And this is one Jack wanted me to write. So, as I said in the book on Jack, he told me to be producer, director, screenwriter, the works. So, we prayed, and a scenario was clear before my eyes, and this is the very first page, the way I acted it out. First, we would write and draw it on the whiteboard. Then, Jack or I would write it down on paper. I have to admit, I had fun being the photographer here. That's Jack's hand right there. See? There you go. But that wasn't enough. I had to film it as well. This is how you spend your 85th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, if you're going to spend your 85th birthday doing something, this should be it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're all gathered around there. Mm -hmm. Boom, the door's breaking open. Crash. They're here. Oh no, the kids, Helen says. Helen! This is how it went from whiteboard to paper. Then we took the script and the basic design and we gave it to Fred Carter, Jack's illustrator since 1972. First, Fred took the initial sketch and made a blue line, his own rough sketch and placing of characters based on what Jack and I showed him. When we approved it, then he made a black line out of it where he finalized the black ink and made the drawing with much more fine lines. Then, on the third time through, Fred added the color. Then, the final step was for the graphics department to add the text, bubbles, rectangles, etc. And then you get to see the final product. Now, let's see. As you can see here, it went from the name out of the shadows to Jesuits. Because the name tells you what it's about. And after asking Jack to pose for the cover numerous times, We decided it was better to use someone else as the Jesuit on the cover. Jack gets accused of enough things as it is. And there you have it. A day in the life of Jack Chick, as I was privileged to experience it for 16 wonderful years. I will always cherish it, and I will never forget it. Thank you for letting me relive a bit of it with you. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.